I don't look like this on purpose. I gotta be honest, this was not the plan. Uh, it's not. I look like this because, like Joni, I've got three kids. I think she had more, but I've got three. That's plenty for me. Uh, I don't know if you have them. Do you have kids? Yes. Yeah, that looks like a tepid response. You, you can't even. No enthusiasm. Who's drinking here tonight? Exactly. Different response, right? That's because that joke is called Alcohol is More Fun Than Children. Parentheses sometimes it causes them. That's a drink response. That's what joke is called. I got three of them. I got three of the bastards, right? Like, they're not bastards, they're all mine. But I got three of them. I got, I got two boys, age 17 and 14. And my wife and I, we make really bad decisions. So we took five years off. We're like, remember babies? They're so cute, right? And then we had a little girl. So I got a nine year old girl as well. So it's fantastic. You can tell I'm excited. Um, <laughs> I'm excited because they're not here, right? I'm here and they're not here. So that's fantastic for me. Uh, I've got. Two older boys, like I said, 17 and 14, and all they do is magic. That's all they do. They're just magicians. That's They've declared themselves magicians at this point in life. That's all they do is they look up card tricks online all day long. They carry decks of cards with them everywhere they go. They're like, pick a card, I can find your card. They're pulling coins out of my ears. My oldest one just auditioned and became a junior member of the Magic Castle in Hollywood. Yeah, you're into it, man. It's great to watch them learn and grow and do new stuff. Plus, I don't have to worry about either one of them getting anybody pregnant. <laughs> if I remember high school correctly, that's not in the bag of tricks of a young magician. Right? That's not. As you think I'm being mean, I'm not. I was on the debate team. That is the exact same birth control. I know exactly what I'm talking about, right? <laughs> My wife had the nerve to be like, she's like, Jeff, as their father, it is your job to convince these two morons that they're not ready to be having sex. And I'm like, baby. They just voluntarily enrolled themselves in a socially mandated abstinence program called MAGIC! <laughs> <laughs> this shit's gonna get us through high school and maybe a little bit of college. <laughs> sure. Uh, with kids, with kids comes pets. I didn't know that. Do you, you guys have pets? Woo! Yeah, you like that better than your kids. That's more response. You clap your hands and everything, right? Pets. Uh, any dog people? Yeah. yeah, I like dogs. Do we have any bird people? Good, let's talk about them because they're bullshit pets, right? <laughs> no, seriously, you're gonna thank me later for this. I promise you. My 17-year-old son had a friend giving away an Amazon parrot. Now, I don't know if you know anything about Amazon parrots or not, but that is like an eight or nine hundred dollar animal retail. Here's what I learned that I'll share with you. If someone is giving away a nine hundred dollar animal, it's broken. It does not work right. <laughs> all it does is every time I walk by the cage, it like lunges at me and tries to bite me and then screams all the time. And in the middle of the night. It says weird shit like, what are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> like at four in the morning. That's all pudding. That's what I'm trying to tell you. <laughs> I don't know if you know this about birds either, but I didn't. They lived 75 years. That's like another marriage. That is till death do you part again. That's what that, that's too long of a commitment for a pet. That's what that is. I should have Googled it. I don't like the bird. That's what I'm trying to tell you if you couldn't tell. But my son loves it. My son loves the bird because every time he walks by the cage, he dances and coos and sits on his shoulder and he thinks he's a pirate or some shit, right? Like he's, he's really into it. So, when we go to get food for the bird, we get, I go to Petco and I grab a bag of food and I take it up to the front counter. And the woman at the counter, she's like, um, you shouldn't feed this food to the bird. It's got a lot of sunflower seeds in it. They're high in cholesterol. That's bad for birds. I'm like, this bird is supposed to live 70 years and I hate him. He's looking at don't just feed him bacon and beer and see if we can accelerate the process. That's where we're at. So I tried it. Like, I just took out sunflower seeds and mixed it with bacon and beer for a week. It backfired. I came home and he was watching NASCAR, just as happy as could be. <laughs> so we got ready to go on vacation. I'm like, I don't know what to do with the bird. My wife's like, do the same thing to do with the dog. Let someone else take care of it. You call it boarding, right? I take it in. And the woman at the place, she goes, um, she goes, you can board it here, but you gotta get three blood tests, and they're $100 a piece. What are they? First one, I don't remember, because it's not funny, right? The second one is bird herpes, and the third is bird chlamydia. Look it up, that's what they test for. I'm like, we don't even let our bird play with other birds. I don't think this is gonna be an issue. So that's what you have to do. I'm, like, I'm not doing that, so I'm gonna get my friend Jason to take care of our pets. I sit him down and I explain the situation. As I get done explaining the situation, my friend Jason stands up, mad dogs, he stares me straight in the eyes like, are you telling me that there's a chance that I can get chlamydia from your bird? <laughs> like, if you're worried about getting chlamydia from our bird, I don't think I want you watching our pets. <laughs> but if you're going to do something, I'd do it with the dog, because he's really done and won't talk about it afterward, at least if I were you, that's what I would do. <laughs> All right, thank you guys very much. I'm Jeff Johnson. <laughs>
Thank you.